Hey there, Stuart Bell from Our Dairy here, and I wanted to shoot this quick video and say, if you are even thinking about spending money on a website, please don't do it until you've watched this, because uh, every year I see advisors spend five, 10, 15, $20,000 on websites, and they forget this one simple rule. Trust me, three minutes, and I could save you a bunch of money and wasted frustration. Stay tuned for what I think is the biggest website sting of all. So there's a bit of a backstory to this. Let me tell you quickly. In 2013, I was involved in launching a tech startup incubator for corporate entrepreneurs, if you like. And uh, when I came into the business as a managing partner, I invested my money and I came to look at the books and there was an invoice for a website, $36,000 for this website. Now I was expecting like a bells and whistles designed by the Michelangelo of website design, but you know what? No, it was being just a basic website, I think, you know, four pages, being designed by someone who six months ago had just uh, finished a TAFE course in industrial design. Now, I'm not having a go at people in industrial design. Just, you know what, for $36,000, I'm expecting someone with, uh, with uh, you know, skills. Anyway, we quickly negotiated our way out of that. And uh, since then, I've been very careful to make sure that when I'm spending money on websites, I really know what I'm sort of spending money on. In actual fact, I don't think you need to spend a lot, particularly as a knowledge base, a professional services business to get a good result, but you need to know one thing. It's really important. Your website purpose. Man, it's not to educate people. It's not to ma make your business look like you are the most professional people in the world. It's not to be visually amazing. It's not to be a, you know, a catch-all for uh, every single query clients or prospects have. Your website has one key thing. You've got to get the email. When everybody hits, the, hits your website, You've got a very short space of time in order to take them from a random anonymous person who's hitting your website to someone who's willing to reach out and make contact. So if someone on your page early on, there isn't a piece which says, would you like our free thing, our report, our cheat sheet, our downloadable tool, and give us your email address and join our mailing list, you are missing the greatest opportunity. Because frankly, you can invest a bunch of money in Facebook and LinkedIn, or pay a bunch of money for marketing strategy, or put on seminars. But that all costs money. The moment they're on your list, you can begin the slow, measured process of taking them potentially from someone who has no idea they need financial planning to aware they might need help to looking out there to finally making contact with you. Before you do anything, before you invest any money, before you waste $36,000 or 10,000 or a whole bunch of time designing a website, ask yourself this question. Whatever you choose to design, whether it's a $500 website, a Wix version or something a little more expensive, is it going to enable you to get the email? If not, I suggest you start again from scratch. Anyway, this has been Stuart Bell from Adairi. I wanted to put that out there. If you're looking at building a website, remember, not only uh, do you want to get the email, but make sure you pay close attention to uh, the copy. And if you'd like to uh, some help or get an understanding of how to get to the heart of what your client is looking for when they hit your website, feel free to drop me an email, help at adairi.com.au, and I'll, uh, I'll shoot you through some content which may help. Anyway, in the meantime, I hope you are having a great week. And I'll catch up with you soon. Take care.